Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Dr. S.J. Sadish and in this video, I shall be guiding you to perform the COPO mapping. Right, for illustration purpose, I have taken the PG program that consists of 23 courses and the same principle you can perform for your COPO mapping of UG program as well. The only difference being your UG program is differentiated into part 1, part 2, part 3, etc. Whereas the PG program mostly consists of only core courses. Now this particular COPO mapping must be done once the board of studies member completed their framing of syllabi. Fine. Now let me introduce you into the step by step process of COPO mapping. So under the step one, what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to list all the program outcomes one by one as I have listed here. So starting from program outcome 1 up to program outcome 7 and I have taken for example 7 program outcomes so I have listed here one by one followed by the course outcome of each and every courses and here for example I have taken the course outcome of the very first course call course 1 or CC1 and similarly you have to perform the same step 2 operation for all the 23 courses or any number of courses that you have under your program. That is very very important. And under step 3, this is the skeleton for my course articulation matrix. And here under the rows I have PO1 up to PO7 and under the column I have CO1 up to CO5 followed by the calculation part of weightage and weightage percentage of course contribution of the POs. Now this is the skeleton and into this particular matrix we are supposed to enter only one of the four values. If the correlation between PO and CO is low then we are supposed to enter as 1 and if it is medium then we are supposed to enter as 3 and if the correlation is high then we are supposed to enter the value as 9 and if unfortunately there is no correlation between the PO and the CO in that case we are supposed to enter 0. So we are supposed to enter only one of these four values. So this we have to keep in mind. Now I will be just getting into the step 4 and how I am going to enter the values into that particular matrix. Now take for example PO1 and this particular PO1 here I have attainment of in-depth knowledge in the field of computing. This PO1 what I have to do is I have to correlate with only CO1 and I find that to be highly correlated. So what I have to do is I have to enter the value as 9. So I have entered the value 9. Now again what I have to do is I have to take PO1 and now I have to correlate that with CO2 and again I find it is going to be highly correlated so I will be entering the value as 9 and similarly I have to perform the correlation of PO1 and this time with CO3 and again I find it to be highly correlated so I enter the value as 9 and then I am supposed to correlate with PO1 and this time I have to correlate with CO4 and I have it as 9 and finally I have to correlate my PO1 program outcome 1 with that of my CO5. So this I have to perform and here I find it to be of medium value so I get 3. Now what I am going to do is I have to perform the same operation for program output 2 and then program output 3 and for program outcome 4 and similarly I have to perform and once I complete I just get this particular matrix. And after that, what I have to do is I have to perform the column wise addition. And if I add this particular values, I get 39. And if I add this particular column, I get 16. 
and if I add this particular column I get 15 and if I add this particular column I get 13 and similarly this particular matrix is completed now what I have to do is I have to perform the same operation for all the courses as I have completed here for all the 23 courses based on the course outcome of each and every course with the program outcome now the point to be noted is the program outcome will be the same whereas the five course outcomes will be different and it will be changing for individual courses so you should not perform with the same PO and CO you have to have the same PO but the CO will be changing depending upon the courses so my dear teacher friends we have completed the CO PO mapping or otherwise the course articulation matrix for all the 23 courses as illustration and here you can find I have completed the weightage also for all the 23 courses the weightage you are just calculating or you are just adding only the column wise values so in that way I get this particular weightage right now what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to proceed to the next level or the next step and here we are going to develop our program articulation matrix and this particular program articulation matrix how I am going to develop is I am just going to the course 1 and here what I have is this particular weightage now this particular weightage I am supposed to copy and here under the program articulation matrix you are supposed to paste that particular value okay now what I have to do is again I have to go to course 2 and under that course 2 I have this particular weightage and this particular weightage I am supposed to copy and I have to paste it under my program articulation matrix which I have earlier done and I am doing it again and here then again I go to my core course 3 and under the core course I have calculated my weightage and I am going to copy that particular value and again I have to go to the program articulation matrix and I have to paste those values and I have to copy the weightage of all the 23 programs and I am supposed to copy here and once I complete that particular process this particular matrix will look like this okay now this is the value that we have already calculated course wise under the weightage fine now what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to perform the row wise addition or row wise total of each and every row okay now if I add 39, 16, 15, 13, 15, 12, 15, I get 125. And similarly, I have to add this particular row and I get 131. And similarly, I have to add this particular row and I get 155. And you are supposed to perform the same addition process for all the 23 rows and I get 315. And similarly, we are supposed to perform the column wise addition also under PO1 up to total. So if I add this particular column, what I get is I get 7, 1, 12. And similarly, I have to add my PO2. And if I add that particular column, I get 540. And till the last particular column that is total, I get 3, 4, 1, 3. Now this particular total let it be here. Now what we are supposed to do is we are performing this particular operation to enter the values of CO, PO, weightage matrix. And I will be explaining you how we are just entering the CO, PO, weightage matrix. Now take this particular value 39. Okay. Now we are taking this 39 and you divide that with the column wise total that is 7 12 so here i have 39 
divided by 712 into 100. This particular value will be 5.48. So that I am going to enter here. And similarly, I am going to perform the value for 16 divided by 540 into 100. How I get this particular value is this particular 16 and the total will be 540. Here I have the total as 540. So 16 divided by 540 into 100. So this is the value I am getting. And once I calculate, I will be getting 2.96. So similarly, I have to perform this particular row value. Then I have to perform this particular row value. And finally, upon the same calculation, I will be getting this particular table. And this particular values, what we are supposed to do is, we are supposed to add column wise. And if I add column wise, what I have to get is, I have to definitely end up with 100 this is very very essential each and every column if i add i should end up with 100 and if that is the case then definitely it is 100 percent sure that what we have calculated is correct now what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to perform the last step that is the noting down of weighted percentage of course contribution of POs. For that what we have to do is you just take down this particular value and you just copy that value and you just paste it here. Now this is how we have to calculate our weighted percentage of course contribution of POs and similarly what we have to do is we have to copy the value for second row and what we have to do is we can go to the core course 2 and here we can copy and this is your weighted percentage of course contribution of second course and similarly you, you can copy the values from that particular table and you can fill here so you are supposed to do it for all the courses and in this particular case I have 23 courses and I have to complete for all the 23 courses. Now the next thing is this is how we have completed our CO PO mapping and this particular value is very very vital and this particular value what it shows is it shows that the course 1 in this particular case the course 1 has a 3.66 percentage towards the success of the program and the second course has got a 3.84 percentage of contribution towards the success of the program and the third course has got 4.55 percentage of contribution towards the success of the program and this is how this particular CO PO mapping will reveal which particular course has got the highest contribution towards the program and in this particular case this particular course 23 has got the highest level of contribution as 9.23 so my dear teacher friends so this is how we are supposed to perform the COPO mapping and I hope and I have a lot of assurance that you people might have understood the technique that I have given to you how to perform the COPO mapping. And thank you friends. We will meet in the next post.